Hi guys, bonjour mes amis, I'm Booger, welcome aboard. You see it, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do a cheeseburger with donuts, yes. We met some people down in Ocean Springs, uh, Mississippi. The guy owns the Tato Nut Shop. It's donuts made out of potatoes. Let that sink in. Anyways, the guy's been doing it for years. It's in his family blood. It goes, there's a history behind it. And uh, we went and got some donuts. So we got leftover donuts. I'm gonna do a couple things with a couple of those, I don't know. But a cheeseburger is gonna be the number one. And then the second one, I'm not sure yet. But I like to create things out of st stuff. That's what I do. You guys, you guys ready? Hi guys. Chin chin. All right, so here we go. I'm using a pound of ground chuck. Okay, it's up to you. I love to make burgers with that, that meat. It makes the best gyros as well. I have a, I'm gonna put a link, link at the end of this video. You guys go check out my my heroes, gyros, doner, whatever you wanna call it. It's made with ground chuck or ground beef and it's absolutely delicious. My neighbors love it when I make them. Anyways, okay, so that's a pound. We get a big, big uh, bulk of it at Sam's Club and separate it into pound packages. All right, so I'm gonna type it down below for you guys. So because the donut is sweet, we're gonna put some spice into this meat, okay? Sweet and spicy goes well together. We don't wanna, anyways. So this is a tablespoon of onion soup mix, just a tablespoon. I mean, that's loaded with salt, so I'm not gonna add any salt to this, but I am gonna add pepper, because I'm trying to make a spicy burger, right? So this is a teaspoon of black pepper. Oh yeah. And uh, I'm gonna use some of this, uh, spicy garlic stuff that I found at, uh, I do believe it was, uh, what's that store? TJ Maxx? You ever been to TJ Maxx where the kitchen stuff is? They have the most amazing spices and things like this, grinders. It's crazy what they have back there and it's never the same thing. So if you see it, you want it, get it because the next time you go there, it's not gonna happen. So probably a uh, half a tablespoon of that, okay? So those are my spices per se. And let's put a little bit of like a smoky je ne sais quoi in the back and that's a tablespoon of Worcestershire. <laughs> All right. So these things are gonna mix that up. Don't over mix it. Cause when you make gyros or heroes, yes, you over mix it. That's the key. But with burgers, you don't wanna overwork it, okay? So we'll mix this up. I'm gonna cover this in plastic and put it in the fridge. And I'll see you in a couple hours probably. Okay, we'll be back. All right, you guys, while that's in the fridge, I'm gonna make a burger sauce, okay? I'm focusing on spicy because I already got the sweet, so I've got about a half a cup of uh, mayonnaise right there. And to this, I'm gonna show you what kind of mustard I'm using. It's Sriracha by Hingelhofer. I love that brand of mustard, oh my God. I've looked everywhere in the stores. Used to, Walmart used to carry it. Not anymore, but um, I get their stone mustard. <clears throat> I do my, uh, uh, what you call it, potato salad or deviled eggs. I use that kind of mustard, it's so lovely. But anyways, I'm putting a good tablespoon of that in there, okay? It's spicy, so that's what I'm aiming for. It's already got the sriracha in there. So if you don't, ha <clears throat> if you don't have them, this mustard, then just get your regular mustard and then put like a, a good squeeze of sriracha in there. That's always good. Okay, so I'm gonna I'll go again with the hot, which is the Hungarian paprika hot. Okay, I'm gonna probably put a teaspoon of that in there. It's not that spicy. It's just it puts <clears throat> puts a little like a little pepper spice to it. But here we go with some spicy again. Horseradish. Who doesn't like horseradish? We love horseradish here. So I'm gonna put a good teaspoon of that in there. Okay. All right, so I'll mix this up and I'm gonna put this in the fridge as well, okay? So I'll be back when it's time to cook the burger. Before I forget, now if you don't have, if you, of course, not everybody's gonna have this. You can just like put garlic, you know, granulated garlic or garlic powder, but you want a little bit of garlic in that burger. It's gonna be so good. All right, so again, I'll be back. All right, you guys, so here's the donuts. It's a couple hours, about three, four hours later. And uh, Tom will tell you what kind of donuts they were. I don't remember. Like I said, I don't eat donuts. So, uh, but yeah, see the shape of it? So I'm gonna try to get my hamburger patty about that shape. It's not gonna work, but we'll see. And the other the other donuts, uh, we're gonna vacuum seal them, put them in the freezer. And I think, 
I can't, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make French toast with it because there was a couple suggestions in the bar. Either French toast or, uh, what did they say? A grilled cheese, ham and cheese sandwich inside the donuts, okay? Doesn't that sound interesting? If you like the sweets, I'm not crazy bad. Okay, so I got parchment paper here. And like I said, I'm gonna do uh, two patties, but I'm gonna eat mine on a lettuce wrap. So let's get Tom's patty. I'm gonna cut this in half. See, it smells so good. Oh my God, now all those flavors and that onion soup mix is all concentrated back in there. Oh my Lord, it smells so good. All right, so let's cut that in half. I could probably make three burgers out of this, but I'm trying to make a big one for Thomas because I'm pretty sure he's just gonna eat one, so. Let me try to get a square. Don't manipulate it too much. Okay, wait. All right. So I've got my uh, spatula that I use for the blackstone. Yeah, I got a blackstone. I got a grill. I got an oven. I got a microwave. I got cast iron pots. I got a cast iron pans. <laughs> I'm like short, so it's kind of hard for me to smush it down that far away from me. But you get the gist of it, okay? So I'm gonna get it squared down. Oh, uh, as flat as I can. Well, not too flat, not like a flat uh, smash burger, but pretty close, because it's gonna shrink up. So you want it uh, bigger than the bun, okay? Or the whatever, the donut, because it's gonna shrink down. So let me do that, I'll wash my hands, and I'll be right back. All right, so there you go. I got them both in there. Pretty cool. All right, so this is the Rapid Crisp Air Fryer. Oh, by the way, I sprayed some olive oil on the bottom with some of this, uh, the Evo sprayer. It's olive oil in there. All right, so this is the Rapid Crisp Air Fryer by DeLonghi. And the beauty of this air fryer, it is, has a bottom burner. So with a, your air fryer, if you don't have a bottom burner, you're gonna have to flip that patty over. See if you want it like a like a crisp coating on the on the burger, which is always lovely. And uh, you could use a rack if you want to. I I chose not to because that bottom burner really puts a nice crisp on the bottom. All right, so when you uh, turn it on, it goes to French fries, pizza, chicken. Uh, which I wouldn't recommend doing fried chicken or chicken wings on that setting. Do like a chicken breast or chicken thighs, you know what I mean? Not for fried, I wouldn't use that option because it's kind of got a lower setting. Casserole and then manual. I'm gonna go to manual. Uh, you wanna reach uh, good, uh, at least, well, I'd say 100, it depends. If you want medium rare or well done or whatever, 165 is, is well done. So I'm not gonna go totally to well done, but I'll let you know how long I do that. I'm gonna bump it up to the highest setting. So I typed it down below what that means. I got number four and I've got it on manual. So it'll tell you what the temperature is, okay? So I'm gonna leave the 30 minutes there just so we can see how much time has elapsed. I'm gonna turn that bottom burner on and let's get to air frying. We'll be back. All right, you guys, a little update here. We're 18 minutes left. Now I'm trying to reach a medium temperature, okay? So that's between 140 and 150. Let me see, with this smaller one, it shrunk down quite a bit. 160, so way too much on that. 152 is perfect for Tom's burger. This will be mine on lettuce, and then Tom's will be uh, the bigger one. Okay, so I've got some Munster cheese here, and I'm gonna put two slices on each of these patties. Whatever cheese you prefer. And this is only gonna take about a minute. Cheese melts very fast in the air fryer. We love monster cheese here, so this will be good on a burger. All right, keep the settings on the highest setting. I'm gonna do that for one minute. All right, you guys, like I said, one minute. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my Lord, Lord Jesus, oh jeez. <laughs> Maybe a minute is too long. <laughs> that is nice. All right, so with these uh, donut buns, that's some good juices right there. I was gonna use butter, I may. I'm just gonna leave this on the bottom. 
that's gonna help fry it up instead of using oil okay and I did I melted a little bit of butter I'm just gonna baste it with a little bit of butter why not hey if we're gonna have a heart attack eating this we might as well go all the way right you know they call puts in uh, the, like a dangerous cholesterol heart attack dish it is oh god it's good but it's so good if you've never had a put in, you need to. Okay, so the settings on high. We're toasting these donuts. Okay, I'll be back. So a little update for you guys. I went and got the rack. I'm gonna put them on the rack. This is a lot of juices down there, and flipped them over. Okay, I'll be back. All right, you guys. 14 minutes, and I'm gonna call that done. Didn't take very long. So I'm gonna plate it, and Tom's gonna taste it. I always got something to say when the cameras. You think the camera's on? <laughs> okay. So here you go. Holy cow, huh? So you put that beautiful sauce. Look at that. Oh, that's gonna be good. I tasted it. It was so good. I always have that stuff handy so you can make your own sauce. Don't buy bottled sauce. Make your own sauce. Tom? What? I don't want to hear it's too sweet. Because you want to eat this with a donut, it's going to be sweet, okay? What did you make? Did you make some sweet sauce? Or you no, I made it spicy. There's no sweetness anywhere, but this is contraption. Oh, okay. We'll be fine. Okay. Say hi to everybody. Hi, hi everyone. everyone. Don't be rude. Don't be that guy. Ooh. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. All right, so I'm going to take pictures. And Tom's going to wait for it to cool. And Tom's going to taste it, okay, guys? Woo. You're so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready to cut and eat, and yeah, I'm like, it's get not out of my way. It's not recording. You be nice. People are gonna say you're mean to me. No, they're okay. Okay. But so, you're always mean to me. I'm allowing you to cut it. So go ahead. Can I touch the knife? Yes. Don't be a smartass. <laughs> Don't make it fall apart. You should cut it this way. Nope. Okay. I can't tell him nothing, you guys. Thirty-seven years of marriage. Now show them the innards, please. Okay, you okay? Oh. Yeah. Uh, uh. Tom's taking over. There's the innards. Mm. Didn't have bacon because you don't share your bacon with me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he eats bacon at work. Bacon and eggs. Show them. Show them. Wow, that's crazy. Show the people. I see it. People saw it. So, what do you say? The sweetness, the spiciness, the flavor of the cheese, hamburger, it's just crazy. It's very, very good. You know, uh, like maple uh, bacon, mm -hmm. that's sweet, right? Yeah. So, I mean, that's a lot of sweet for a piece of meat there, but the bun is soft. It was a little bit stale. Oh, what kind of donuts are those? I couldn't remember. Persian. Persian. See, I knew it started with a P. Shout out to Brick mm -hmm. from, uh, what's it called? Tato Nut. Tato Nut. Do you remember what street it was on? I mean, I'll send a link to their website. I think it's Government Street. They have uh, a ton of people waiting in line for these donuts every day, except for Sunday and Monday, right? They're yeah, closed. closed Sunday and Monday. But I'll put a link down below to their website. He's a super nice guy. We've met him twice now. Super nice guy, hard worker. And that was his dad's place. You're still eating. You don't care about talking. Mm -hmm. I had questions for you. Oh, sorry. You got his mouth full, you guys. He could have answered all kinds of questions, but it's good. Different, mm -hmm. right? That's your first uh, donut burger ever. Mm -hmm. He's shaking his head, yes, Very he loves good. it. All right. And to James, our Uber driver, the one that told us about this. Yeah. Great idea. Well, he lost 200 pounds. I don't know how great that idea it, was. Well, it was. <laughs> it is a great idea. He lost 200 pounds because he lost, his wife won't let him go there. No. Oh. All right. Well, before you but, stuff your face again, you got to tell people goodbye. But there's another guy there. I think his name is Richard. Um, he said that he makes these into french toast yeah i told him that french toast and i, I think i'm going to do a grilled cheese ham and cheese sandwich with the other two yeah but that's that's not oh you boy. gotta take a break from this stuff there oh you, no you had a lot of those okay donuts. okay all right Good. guys hang on say goodbye okay bye everyone <laughs> thanks for shopping guys love yes.